and Johnny West to say something to you. Uh, a lot of people ask me why I put the picture here. I can tell you why, because the picture is very handsome. <laughs> Thank you very much, my master, Dr. Sopon. It was taken 10 years ago. And this picture was uh, edited by Dr. Elliot, the chief advisor of CBA. Thank you very much for the picture. My name is Kim Hien, and the CEO of Mayor State, and now the President of CVA and the President of AWA. AWA is the Asian Wild Association. Next month, in May, for to spend May, we have the event we call it AWA, Asian Wild Association in Cambodia. We support to get four to five hundred people to come from Asian plus five. Asian country plus Korea, Japan, China, Hong Kong, Macau, and also India, we will come. And because I have only 25 or 30 minutes, so I will give you go to solely, not, not very detailed. And here we have some very handsome speaker waiting for us. So if I go longer time, they, they will say I take their time, so I will go solely. Uh, my, my topic today is about the current market of the real estate industry in Cambodia. So, current market of the real estate industry in Cambodia. When we talk about the real estate, we will talk about real estate. People will talk about the first one is the situation of land, land in Cambodia. We, we have some friends from Singapore, they, they, don't, they work in real estate for 10 or 20 years. They said they told me they have no experience, no experience in selling land in Singapore because it's a good no. Most of them, it means no land for sale. Most of the deal is condo. But Cambodia, land is the number one business. So what what you know about Cambodia about land? Cambodia, we are lucky that we have one law say that foreigner cannot buy land in Cambodia. If but recently we had some investor from our city, they talked to me, why why not I suggest to the government to to change some law that allow foreigner can, can buy and own land in Cambodia. It can happen something in Thailand, like the most of one groups used to told me, like in Thailand, foreigners can buy. If they put investment of a big amount of money, they can buy land something like 1,500 square meter. If they put around 1.5 or 3 million. 40 million. How much? 40 million. 40 million baht is around 1 million years to allow plus. If you invest more than 1 million years to allow in Thailand, you are a Eligible can buy land 1,500 square meter, but that, that the reason that some investors ask me why Cambodian government doesn't allow for rental to buy land. I say cannot. We cannot allow foreigner buy land in Cambodia. The reason is if foreigner is allowed to buy land in Phnom Penh, everywhere Phnom Penh will be Chinatown. <laughs> will be Chinatown. I don't want to be the last Cambodian to live in Cambodia. Of course, I speak some broken Chinese. My kids study Chinese. So if China come Cambodia, it will be good for me. But I hold my ID card and passport. I don't want to be the last Cambodian people to live in Phnom Penh. One more, Thailand, you check out the Thailand, you check out the Malay or some part they can buy. Because of the education of people in Malay, in Thailand, the, the, the educational background is very strong. Most of them, they get the bachelor degree. So the knowledge, the experience are very strong. Thailand and Cambodia, they are 20 years above Cambodia. How many of us have the bachelor degree? The education in Cambodia is very slow. I think the need 20 years, maybe 10 or 20 later, Cambodian government may allow foreigners who have invested a big amount of money in Cambodia to buy land. At least 10 years later, when the GDP grow up, when the education get better, when the people get to know more about the world, not now. Because most of us, the education is not very strong. When the children are very strong, people very smart, people know everything. It's the time that Cambodia would be more open to foreigners to buy land, not now. If the government allowed to buy land now, it will be a big mistake. And the post want to say no. 
if, if you are the foreign investor, you buy the land. So the question is, which part of the state you want to buy? Most of no, most you may know the area like the Chongkang one, BKK one. You know the Tuko, you know the Krong Penjumai, you know the airport anywhere. This very simple, like if you buy the land for investment now, where should you buy? My answer is BKK one or somewhere in Chongkang one. If you buy the land for the investment this three year, where is it? So if you buy the land now and you develop in the next three years, I recommend you to go. Or if you buy the land now and then you keep for five years for the investment or for resale, where should you go? My answer is from Pei Chumai. You know, every Chinese people they come here is from Pei Chumai. Every Chinese they always come here they get me just from Pei Chumai. It's a five year plan. Easy to understand. BKK1 or Chukamo is like a beautiful lady at the age of 25 years old. BKK1 is 25 years old. Togo is 20 years old. So 25 is the age to get married. It's the age for contraction. Togo is 20 years. You can wait a couple of years more. Probably is some is a younger and 15 years old. Not now, you can wait for five or seven years later. So if you buy the land for the investment for the next 10 years, where should you go? My word is anywhere of Phnom Penh. Just 15, 20 kilometers away from Phnom Penh, you can buy any, anywhere. If the purpose of the land for the investment for the 10 year land, I recommend you anywhere of Phnom Penh. Just one five kilometers away or 20 kilometers away. You can buy it for the next 10 years. You can see some of the construction in property. If you buy the land in BKK1, it's 4,000, 5,000. You buy in Togo, 2,000, 2,005. Construction cost is the same. Operational cost is the same. But when you build the condo, you say the condo BKK1 is more expensive. It happened now. Based on our experience in our city, in Shanghai, in Taiwan, and anywhere, I can tell you, next 5 or 10 years, any project in BKK1, in Don Ping, in Phnom Penh, in Togo, the selling price of the condo will be the same or similar. You know why land in BKK1 is more, the more expensive? Togo, the more expensive, Phnom Penh, the less expensive. Because of the structure, because of the surrounding environment. BKK1, if you build a condo, school, hospital, supermarket, business center, company, everything there. To go, you build to go, we, we are, we, there is something. Not yet have had international school, not yet. International hospital, not yet. Supermarket, same. But the next 10 years, supermarket, business center, office space, hotel, restaurant, there will be a lot more at Phnom Penh Mai, Togo, and Chukamo, BKK1. So 10 years later, if you build a condo, you build it in Kong Kong, Togo, Phnom Penh Mai, the selling price of the condo will be the same. It's the experience that happened on NLC, especially in Xinhai, in Xinhai, China. Let's go to the second one, the condo, like Prado Kumase. We have a lot of condo now, so what, what should we do now? You know, every day, oh, every week, I receive at least three to five interviews by TV, by newspaper, or by email. Most of them just condo, condo, and condo. The, the, the concern is, is the condo our supply? I say yes. And no. I say no and yes. It depends. By 2018, we support to get around 19,000 or 20 units of the completed condo. So, two years later, the whole company we have around 20,000 units of condo. You see, the supply of condo is our supply? I can say yes. If the 20,000 for the local market, for the local buyer, is our supply. 
but it for the international, not yet, not yet. For the Asian market, not yet. Population of Cambodia is 15 to 16 million, probably less than 3 million. But when you talk about Asian globalization, 600 million. So the 20,000 million of Cambodia is not enough for the international arrival. So my, my word is, 20,000 units of condo is hours supply for low for buyer, but it's not enough yet for the international. The problem is how to get foreign investors to come to invest to Cambodia. If we can get more foreign investors to come to invest in Cambodia, we, who? The government, the government, the public, the prime minister, if the public can address more foreign investors from any part of the world come to invest in Cambodia more and more, the 20,000 unit can do nothing. We can build two or three times more. My, my, my best friend from Taiwan, they told me the number of condo in Phnom Penh is nothing compared to Taiwan. I said, yeah, very small. So I think Cambodia can build 20,000 or 30,000 units more. But make sure, make sure the government can address more foreign investors coming. The, the, the foreign investors coming because of the policy from the government. The private, what, else, what can you do? You just build and sell. But we cannot invest 100% on the government. If you build a condo, you must find your own market. Last night, I received one email from the Khmer Town. They sent me some questions about the white book from the Euro Chat. Uh, Euro have some, raised some concerns, suggestions to the government. But those kind of questions, I myself have talked many times on TV, on my YouTube, and I talked to some officials from the government. But just in talking. So, how to make no mistake in condo? My word, land for the project. Land for the project should not be a subject for bank loan. If you want to start the condo, you need to have enough money to buy the land. The land title of the, the title of the land for condo should not be a subject for bank loan. My suggestion, anybody listen? No one? Because we are private. But now the Eurocham they, they suggest similar. Maybe Eurocham they have more power. I see the problem in the future. Investor who don't have enough money to buy land, but they want to start the condo. How can they start? The land for condo is 5 million. They have 2.5. They borrow 2.5 from the bank. They never sit the title of the bank for 2.5 to pay for the land. So where they have money to build, they do the pre-sale. They do they, they, they make a plan to do pre-sale. If they can sell 30% in one month, they will start the construction. What happens if they can get a target? If they can sell 10 or 20, of course they will not build. They will not build. So what happened? Problem. They will run away. Who will suffer? The buyer, the local people. So if the land for the condo should not be a subject for the bank loan. And the pre-sale, I talked to doctors of Hong during my trip to Thailand. Thailand, they allow the pre-sale. He said, yes, for me, I say should not, should not. Pre-sale is was very good for Cambodia five years ago. Five years ago, when you start a condo, you just made a banner condo for sale, a lot of people come to buy. You can use buyer money to build. But now we are in the perfect competition, a very competitive market. It's not easy to say at the moment. So my idea, pre-sale for condo should not be alone. You have to finish the construction at least 20% or 30% before you start to sell. If we can do that way, condo market will be stronger. First, you might have enough money to buy land. So can you must finish your condo at least 20 to 30 percent before you start to sell? If you don't have enough money to do that way, 
Condo business is not for you. Condo business is not for you. Only the giant can survive. It can make market better because the small one cannot do. Only the big one. The big one they can do well and it have, can help the country. It can help the country. But my suggestion is difficult for the current market. I see the future. Just the idea for individual. We go to the Borei. Most people say the condo for foreigner, Borei for local. Of course, now. Now, local they buy Borei, foreigner they buy the condo. It happened in Malay, Singapore, or Thailand 20 years, 30 years ago. Many years ago, in Thailand, when they start the condo, 80 to 90 buyers are foreigner, 10 or 20 are local. 20 years later, who say the condo? All Thai people, all Malay and Singapore people. Cambodia is similar. When we start the con uh, with Borei or condo now, all people buy Borei, all, all local people buy Borei, all foreigners buy condo, the majority. Now, local buy Borei, foreigners buy condo. But I can tell you, 10 or 20 later, who say the condo? Local people. Why? I, I have 10 years ago, I lived in the airport. From airport to downtown, 50 minutes. Now, from airport to downtown, one hour. Three years ago, I come to live from Pai to Mai. From Pai to Mai to my office, 10 minutes. Now, 30 minutes. The more traffic jam, it will take a lot of time. So people will say, previously, the condo. The concept of condo, not many people understand. Why people buy condo? Condo is not the place for permanent resident. Condo is not the place for everyday living. Condo is the place of working convenient. So five years later, not ten years, five years later, more people will move in condo from Monday to Friday. We can live in house in Bore. Because what? Because of the traffic jam and more. More people, more hard. So how can you live in Borei? You jump from your house to your workplace, one and a half hour. You go back two hours. So every day you spend almost four hours just from home to work. So later on, five to chill, ten years later, more people will live in condo. And Borei, they live on weekend. So you need to buy Borei, you need to buy Borei and condo from now. And if you need to buy, you buy from me. The factory. Uh, why a lot of people come here to do the factory? China. Work, the salary working company is $160. The salary working in China very expensive. They come to move here. And we love, have a lot of time. Advantage. More people come here. My master, Dr. Sopon, said five minutes more. Warehouse. 10 years later, 10 years ago, you see a lot of warehouse in downtown. All of them, anywhere you can warehouse, Tokyo. You see any warehouse in downtown now? No more. All of them, Tokyo, no more warehouse. You know why? Because the land price increased too much. The land price increased too much. To build a warehouse, you need to spend 100 years per square meter. But you ran out, you can get only three dollars per square meter. How long you can get your money back? I say, by the time you get your money back, it's the time that the warehouse is broken. So why you need to invest warehouse? The land price is 20, around 20 per year. And warehouse can last for 10 years. Your warehouse costs $100 per square meter, you can get three dollars per, per, per month. It's not really a good investment. They only do outside the city if you get 10 and 10 hectares. And you don't know what to do. You need to be a warehouse factory or market to address more people come to rent your warehouse, rent your factory, uh, do something in your market to make your land price better. That's the only reason. We call warehouse for real estate. If you do warehouse for warehouse, I recommend you start a business. If you have land, you put money to be a warehouse, you wait for the rental coming to cover your investment. I say it's not a it's not an investment. 
only very hard for real estate. You own big land, empty land, the one you very slow. So you need to be very hard, you build factory to attract more people coming. You have more market so that you can build more, right? You can build a house to make your value of property increase. This is, the, this is the investment. Warehouse or factory for real estate. The future of the real estate in Cameroon, what the future? Nobody knows. No one knows what the future. Every day they, they call, oh, now we have problem. Oh, real estate, they have problem. I say, I'm not the one to make problem, but I can give you the solution. We should not create problem, but need to find a solution. Problem is anywhere. But any problem, there is an opportunity. Every problem, there is opportunity. So, what happened in 2017, 18 and future? I say future is future, nobody knows. But as an individual, I recommend you. It doesn't matter what job you are doing. You are professional, you are boss, you public, government officer, or whatever you are doing. Please don't use the bank loan more than 20% of your total asset. Please don't use more than 20% of your total asset. If, you, if all of your property is 1 million, you should not borrow bank more than 20 or 200,000. Because the, 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 the real estate cycle, it has the four cycle. Interruption, growth, maturity, and decline. And now the current market, we have reached the majority. So what happened after the majority stay, decline, or a new introduction? Some people, they say, when we start from introduction to grow, to majority, and then we decline. But some people, they say, majority is a new introduction for a new business. We should use current situation as the majority, as the new introduction for the new state. Whatever happened in China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, anywhere, as individual. So, five minutes more? Okay. <laughs> so not borrow money more than 20% of your total asset. So that whatever happened wrong, that would be no problem. If you borrow more than half of your property, if the crisis happened two years, you will be homeless and your wife will say goodbye from you. 